What is up, YouTube? Back again with another video. In today's video, man, I wanted to make a video um, over my entire account on MW2 as of um, basically the week before, about a week and a half before Season 2 Reloaded launches, um, which is coming on the 15th. Um, and I kind of wanted to go over some things, kind of just going over the whole season, the items you get, and then obviously my, my records as of now. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start off with the stats. We'll go over there to the stats. Now, my stats on this game aren't the greatest. Um, going for a Ryan really killed me. <laughs> um, also, anyone else having a weird bug on this game where you can't see your stats sometimes when you load in? Like, what is happening? Um, but... Uh, with that being said, uh, these are my stats so far. Uh, we got 31,000 kills in the account with eight days played. Um, we're averaging right around um, 30 to 40 kills a game, which is about per average for me. It's about average. Uh, I think in older cause, it just seems like a lot more just because um, <laughs> there's a lot more streaks, a lot more nuclears being called in. Uh, and the overall game just felt usually different than compared to this. This game's a little more slower. People play it slower. People play it more scared. Um, which means getting to 40 kills will take you the entire match because you're constantly running from one spawn to the other, one spawn to the other, instead of you know being in gunfights every 10 seconds. Um, our most used guns are the Mini Mac, the Hemlock, and the SAP-50. Um, I am working on getting all the other guns to 1,000 kills. Um... As you can see, I've only gotten three guns so far to 1,000 kills. I'm almost done with the Fennec um, and the Kastov um, 74U. Um, I want to get every gun to 1,000 uh, just just for my own personal you know, grind. Um, at least the primaries of the ARs, battle rifles, all that type of thing. Um, but right now, I've just been really enjoying the, uh, the Fennec. It's been my go-to weapon in the last couple of games. Um, I think I've played around 450 something games within the last three days, four days. Uh, I'm playing a lot of SMD. I'm going to match you on my maps and my modes. You can say that I have put and played easily over, um, easily over like 300 games of SMD, uh, easily. And yeah, man, it's 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 insane. Uh, which I just realized it's not 300. It's only like 100 and what is it, 150? No, 115, which is interesting um, because I feel like I've played a lot more matches than that. Um, then again, I've also left a lot of those matches, and those matches that you leave, obviously, if you know how quality stats work, quality games you leave don't get counted to the records. So all, all the games that I've left <laughs> by over 200. Um, but yeah, so like, it's just insane how far this game can come since season one and preseason. Um, and obviously with the grind from Orion, really hurt stats overall. Um, you can see that in my KD. I mean, when I first started playing the game before Orion, or even on Orion, but like towards the beginning stages of it, um, we were like at like, what, 20,000 kills with like 5,000 deaths. I mean, we have like a 3 KD. Um, it was really that last, those last couple secondaries that really killed your boy. The, the launchers, the shields, the melees, the the uh, pistols, those really, with the SPMM that's in the game, the skill matchmaking, killed, killed me, boys. It killed me. Um, we have right around 2,000 games played. We're about 50 games off of 2,000. Um, with 500 wins, obviously, and a 1,300 losses. My losses are obviously higher. Um, just because I don't play for the win, I don't play the objective out of hardly at all. I mean, if you look at the objective scores on Domination, for example, um, it's just... Yeah, it's only, I'm only getting 358 score per minute right now on Dom um, because of not playing the objective, obviously. Um, but that's pretty much those. Weapon stats, like I said, don't really change, but we have right around 2,000 kills with almost every category of guns, except for the uh, snipers and the battle uh, marksman rifles, and I believe, yeah, the uh, the melees and then the launchers. Um I think my go-to pistol right now is definitely the X12 or X13, but I am swinging myself back into these in the Deagle more often. I've made some pretty good class setups. I have some videos coming soon um, that are coming, and, and they're really, really, it's been the Deagle's really been my go-to for, especially the SND, uh, this, the, the sniping ability to take out snipers across the map with a headshot with the Deagle is insane. It's just, it's, it's, it's mental, man. It's mental. 
equipment like Claymore's just because I'm playing SND. Um, and also, I think they're counting. I want to say they're counting Claymore kills from Infected, even though Infected is not on the leaderboards. Like it doesn't. There's no stats for it. Um, <coughs> I think they're. I think they're counting them because I honestly don't really use Claymore's that much on regular multiplayer. I've been really mainly using them recently on on um, on Search and then on mainly on Infected. Um, even on Search though, I really haven't gotten any kills with them, which is odd. Um, and then I use mostly stick grenades, throwing knives, that type of thing. I've been using a lot of drill charges recently because of the shield users and thermites. Um, and then kill streaks. Obviously, I've used not many kill streaks. I've been primarily using UAVs um, and rancid UAVs and counters um, since the game launched. Um, obviously, these two, the Hilo and the Chopper Gunner, were my main two streaks during the grind for Orion. Um, just because at the time, those were the best streaks. Um, then I've also been using the Juggernaut here and there. And my new favorite streak, the Stealth Bomber. This thing goes crazy, man. If you're playing bigger maps and you're wanting to just get people off objectives, run the Bomber, man. It, it's definitely worth it. Um, with that, that's that. We'll go over here to maps, most recent maps and stuff like that. Um, and you can see that these are my stats for the last couple of games. Not very, not very good, man. Not very good. You can tell I haven't really played hardly any other modes. I've been trying to get into cyber attack, man. I've been trying to. This mode has potential. Um, I just, I don't know. It feels weird um, overall. Um, and that's pretty much it. I didn't play a whole lot of tier one when it was out. I was, wasn't a fan of it. Um, but those are the stats overall. Then we're going to go over battle rail that I now have to back out again. Um, but yeah, man, so with season two, I really just focused really on the fun aspect of the game. And that wants me, I think, go to Battle Royale. So we'll just do the multiplayer stuff and we'll head over to PR. Um, I think with M the MWG season two, the main problem I have with this season as of right now is the fire shotgun. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, I have every single new gun Orion already. Um, I've had it since pretty much week one of season two, pretty much. Um... Because I unlocked them really quickly, uh, especially the, the the new AR. I unlocked the new AR Orion the first day it came out. Um, I was easily easily one of the top like ten people in the world to have Orion. Like I got the I got the uh, unlock so quick. Um, like I think I was level three. No, I was level like two sixty two sixty when I got the new AR Orion. Um, and if you remember, we started the season at level two fifty. So. Was in like 10 levels, 11 levels. I had it Orion. Um, so that was, it was pretty, it was pretty, pretty fucking quick. Um, the new shotgun, obviously, we have this thing. Orion was easily one of the easiest shotguns to do Orion, but by far one of the most annoying guns to run into on Search and Destroy because people who fire shotguns on Search and Destroy. Fucking horrible. <laughs> fucking horrible. <laughs> um, and then we obviously have the crossbow, Orion, obviously. Um, I'll put it on so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, man, the, the crossbow was pretty fun. I didn't think I was going to get this thing, Orion, but I did 10. Um, once it loads. Uh, and it was, it was an experience. The, the, the long shots and the headshots were by far the worst overall. Um, this thing sucks sucks when you're trying to go for headshots like if you don't go for headshots and you're just playing you'll see that you get them a lot um but this thing is horrible for headshots when you're going for them specifically um and then obviously in the season two reloaded we have the new marksman rifle coming up here um which will be the uh and like m16 s3 or whatever in real life it's some like sem like M spr or something um it's a semi-automatic medium ranged rifle um so i'm pretty excited it's pretty good uh, and then obviously we have the dokanachis also orion as you can see by far my most favorite uh, favorite weapon so far um i just i've been loving the dokanachis overall with that being said, that's pretty much the weapons. Uh, Stats-wise, I pretty much have every upper in the game. I'm only missing the two soccer skin players and then obviously Gaz. Because I haven't I have not done one single raid yet. Um, 
if you guys want to see me do a raid, let me know in the comments, man. I'll do a raid. Uh, I'll grind for a raid. Um, but I just haven't really been doing raids or or um, what is it called? DMZ. I haven't really been doing that either. Um, I, I think I got the what is it? This what skin? I think it's the Konog skin. I think it is. Um, yeah, which is the weapons cases for season one. But that's pretty much as far as it went. We went over here to Resurgence and check out the stats. See if it lets me actually see my stats here on Resurgence now. It does. Awesome. So Resurgence, we're seeing at almost a 2 KD. We were uh, we were at a 2 KD solid um, at the beginning of the season. When I hit level, uh, when I hit all, all the DLC guns, Orion, um, I played heavy, heavy Resurgence um, with my crew. Uh, and we played... Easily, I, I think it's over 100 games. Um, I've only played like two games since um, playing with them. Uh, and you can see that I've been holding a pretty solid KD overall. And I really like the Hemlock. Um, the Hemlock, if you're not using the Hemlock um, in Resurgence, you're missing out. Uh, it is by far the best gun in Resurgence overall. Um, probably next to the Fennec. People, they nerfed the Fennec. They nerfed the Fennec twice. <laughs> Um, the, the Fennec nerf twice did nothing. It's still really overpowered. Um, it's still really dominant overall. Um, and then obviously kill streaks. We have, I've like gotten like precision air strike kills like twice. Uh, I don't really use streaks all that often in, in resurgence. I mean, I use UAVs, but you know, like usually I'll just place these short streaks like um, the precision air strike and the mortar strike randomly when I get them. Mainly because I'm just pushing so aggressively all the time. Like, I, it, streaks would just get me killed if I use them. And then, uh, if you're wanting me what a hemlock class is for, um, for, you know, for resurgence, here's uh, my hemlock class I've been using. Um, this thing absolutely shreds. And I'll show you guys my tunes. See, so, I want to make a video going over tunes. Um, uh, because I have, I, I think I disagree with the apparent main way to use the tune, which is supposed to tune it to a break point. Um, so, like, if I take re the, the recoil, you can watch it move, right? And there's a break point, like, right here somewhere. Like, right there. Where's where you're supposed to actually put it. But, I don't find that it's, um, any better or worse than if you put it all the way. But that's just me. Now, data, I could probably play with the auto tuning, honestly. Um, we can see here, this is the class I've been running with the tunes. Uh, I highly recommend it. Great class. I have some more videos coming on some classes, but uh, right now I'm kind of just going through the process of making the classes um, and then also trying to get some gameplay with them. Um, but I don't know. I'll probably do what I did in World War II, which is just make the class and then upload the class as a separate video. Maybe do a um, short series of all the best classes or something, because I can do that in like 30, 40 seconds. To be a good short um with that being said uh that's the the hemlock man um and that's pretty much all the stats so let's go over here to the um the uh whatchamacallit the battle pass my thoughts on the battle i haven't really even said my thoughts on the battle pass this season uh and that's because my thoughts on the battle pass is pretty good overall but it could be better <laughs> So the, the skins they got for the weapons, the uh, shotgun and the shotgun variant, and then the uh, AR and the AR variant, and then the other AR variant, um, which is obviously the moving one, are pretty good. So is the Dokanashis, obviously they're pretty good too. But the rest of these skins are pretty mid, um, especially these operators, they could be better. Um, I think... This is probably the best skin so far in the Battle Pass, other than the Tier 100 skin. I think Rose took the win. Um, like this is a cool skin, I guess. It's kind of an alright skin. Um, same with this. Kind of, it's whatever. Um, but overall, I think it's a pretty good Battle Pass. I'm really excited to see what we do in Season 3. Um, apparently, it's Alex Zedra. So we'll see how that goes. I hope they don't do her dirty. <laughs> Give us a fucking clown skin. That's her. But overall, man, that's that's pretty much it for the video. I know it's kind of an odd video, but I really didn't know what to do today for content. But I wanted to get a video out, so that's it. Um, these are my stats and my thoughts on Season 2 so far. Um, it's great. Just nerf the shotgun. Please.
pretty please.